So when we think of augmented reality, we tend to think of it as primarily a visual medium, which computer-generated graphics are superimposed in front of us against the real world. I created UGroove AR as an audio augmented reality system, uh, which lets us transform spaces like Lincoln Center Plaza, which you see here from an aerial view, um, into interactive musical experiences. And what you're seeing here is a what I call a mix map, which consists of these colored shapes, each of which is embedded with a um, audio event or musical event. And uh, at Lincoln Center, we have a piece by Barbara Weber called Arella installed there now. And um, what you would do when you go there is you would fire up the UGroove app on your smartphone, uh, turn on GPS, and once GPS locates you, you become this uh, white dot that you see in the middle of the screen. Um, which tracks you just as any other mapping system would, uh, like Google Maps, for example. Uh, now, as you move into the various um, zones uh, that make up the mixed map, you're triggering audio events that can be synchronized, can be looped, can be one-shots, can be uh, positioned in 3D, all types of things we can do with them. And you hear how the music now is building up as the, um, as the user is uh, moving through the environment. And then we have uh, hi-hats coming in when they intersect with this square here. Right, and you also notice that the, um, the shapes themselves kind of echo the, uh, the structure of the uh, plaza where we have the fountain in the middle um, with the spokes in the flooring emanating out and those uh, we have attached choral sounds to that you can play like an instrument. Now in contrast, uh, we've installed at the north end of the High Line a piece by Jesse Stiles. Um, you can see the mix map for that here which is obviously linear in nature to echo the structure of the High Line. But rather than build up pieces uh, using individual tracks like you would on a mixing console, these are longer swaths of uh, sound uh, that transition from one to the other as you make your way up the High Line. This particular section of the High Line is very active with construction right now, and there's a lot of noise from the West Side Highway. Um, so the juxtaposition of this uh, kind of meditative piece against it is, is uh, a, a very nice contrast, and you should definitely go check it out. Just yesterday, we activated uh, the Conservatory Guard at Central Park uh, with another piece by Barbara Weber called Florambula. So again, you can see how the mix map um, echoes with the structure of the, uh, of the gardens themselves, which there are three, so this is kind of a musical triptych. Uh, this is the English garden, uh, the centerpiece of which is a fountain and uh, lily pond. So Barbara introduced these nature sounds to kind of uh, highlight that feature of the garden. The Italian garden is the centerpiece of the park, which consists of two promenades, and uh, we've set up a series of one-shot sounds, which stop if you don't keep walking, so this kind of encourages you to complete the piece uh, as you go. And the French garden is um, has more of a uh, impressionist type of backdrop to it with uh, some solo piano over top, which is uh, quite nice, actually. So putting together a U-Groove piece is fairly straightforward. Uh, once you bring the map into Unity, which is the system that we're using, or the platform that we're using to build this, um, you just attach audio objects to the, uh, to the geometry, drop it in where you want it, and magically it works. It's actually a collection of scripts that, uh, that I created, uh, which control the interactivity and the, um, the coordination of the, uh, of the sound. Uh, this is the beginnings of a piece that I've uh, been collaborating uh, with Davin Aftali on, uh, which started as an adaptation of a recording she'd done called Drone Tal, which you can hear here. This is actually a test run that we did, so we don't have to go on site to test. Uh, we can just switch off the GPS switch and, um, and use our keyboard to navigate, just like you would with a 2D game which is effectively the same mechanics. Uh, so you can hear Daphne's uh, chanting here. Um, th this started out as a uh, simple piece that was gonna be installed at Washington Square Park. As she did more research um, and, and more, spent more time at the park, she began to realize that um, she had a much stronger personal connection to the park, having been a student in NYU and a teacher there. And uh, it kind of grew into this uh, collection of audio memories, uh, kind of like a memory museum, uh, if you will. And um, you can see the final mix map is quite a bit more involved than what we started with. There's about 70 to 80 sounds that are embedded and triggered with various randomness and other functions that we uh, that we added. Uh, so we're hosting a sound walk tomorrow down at uh, Washington Square Park. We're meeting at the Arch at 4 o'clock. Daphne will be there to talk more about this if you're interested in attending. 
Um, also, I've had the privilege over the past year to work with a number of other composers, uh, Barbara, Jesse, Daphna, as well as Michael Dorick and um, uh, Melissa Paranosic and others. I'm hugely indebted to them. This wouldn't be possible without them. So thanks to them and thanks to you guys for your attention. Thank you.